Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> Hi guys, so this video is going to be the old wives tales gender prediction test video that's like a mouthful and a half there's like a ton of different like old wives tales out there whether it's like the chinese gender chart or like the mayans or like your cravings and stuff like that so i picked 23 of the very best ones that i could find and we are going to determine whether or not these old wives tales are telling us if we're gonna have a boy or a girl all of these tests are completely 100 percent not I mean, they're not necessarily not accurate, but there is no evidence to support like most of these. This is just for fun, is purely for fun. These are a bunch of like myths and just old wives' tales, just sayings, claiming to know <laughs> what the gender of your baby is based off of like little silly things. So I'm just gonna go through them and I will talk about what each one is, what it means, and then what the re what our result for this pregnancy is. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I dragged Chris into this video with me because I thought it would be fun to get his take on things. I don't so even think fun. you know these. Did I even tell? I don't even think I told you most of these. No, I probably know about five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are not in any particular order. I just made like a long list of these like random sayings and like tests to do. And I'll have some kind of like, I don't know, something here that tells us. <laughs> Maybe right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Chinese gender chart, which is one of the most popular ones. And it's tricky with this one because your like lunar age is different than like the solar age or something. I don't know. Or you're, like you're technically a different age according to them in like a different month. So you have to find a calendar that is correct and like can translate your age and your it's your age at conception and the month of conception and then it goes based off of that so I found a website and I did like several of them and like researched each of them to try to make sure I found like an accurate one I'll post a link down below of an accurate one that I found and one that I used basically you take your lunar age at the time of conception so not necessarily the age you are now and your lunar month and that tells you whether you're having a boy or a girl so the accuracy of this is obviously 50 percent <laughs> i was 23 at the age of conception it was only a couple weeks before i turned 24 so i was technically 23 and the month in our time was february so once you translate all that it tells me that we're having a girl so that is one point for the girl next is the mayan theory and this theory tells you that if both your age at conception and the year of conception are the same so like not not the same but they're both even or they're both odd then supposedly you're having a girl. And if it's different, so like one's even and one's odd, then you're having a boy. Again, my age at conception was 23 and it is 2016, so that tells me that we're having a boy. So one for the girl, one for the boy. So number three is the heart rate test. And I think that one is very known. Everybody says generally, I've heard different numbers, but if the heart rate is over 140, some people say 150, then they say you're having a girl. And if it's below 140 or below 150, I think 140 is like the typical like saying, then you're having a boy. So with this pregnancy, the baby's heart rate has been very consistently in the 160s. So that's definitely a girl result. Next is the baking soda gender test. And I did this test um, towards the beginning. So gross. <laughs> I used disposable cups this time. I don't care. So, <laughs> so the baking soda test, I will go ahead and insert a clip of what our results were. Up there, look at that. It is fizzing like beer. So that is definitely a boy result, I'd say. So that did indeed give us a very clear boy result. So that's another point for the boys. So the next test was the red cabbage gender test and that was another one where you use your urine <gasps> to tell you if you're having a boy or a girl. So the red cabbage gender test, that is where you boil some red cabbage and you pee into it and if it turns red or pink, it means you're having a boy. And if it stays purple, then it means you're having a girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert our results for that one as well. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so. Well, it's clearly purple. You see purple? I see purple too. So the results of that one did come out to be a girl. So that is another point for the girls team. The next one is the Intelligender test. Intelligender claims to have a 90% accuracy rate. That is very debatable. I will go ahead and insert our results for that one as well. Okay, so once you do that, you let it sit for five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. I'm kind of thinking it looks more like a girl result. So that test did give us a girl result. So that is another point for the girls team. Is it a team? Girl side. Side. Girl side, girl side, the girls side. The next one is your wedding ring on a string test. And we did this one in the very beginning of our pregnancy. And that one was a girl, girl result. It, it's, if it goes back and forth, then it says you're having a boy, and if it goes in a circle, it means you're having a girl. So I wanted to film it before we did this one, and I forgot, but we did do it before, and it did give us a girl result. So that is another point for the girl side. The next one is the hairline test, and basically what that means is you, you look at the hairline of your last born child, and if it comes to a point, it means you're having the opposite sex, and if, if it's in like a straight line, it means you're having the same sex child. So you know what's funny about this one is it's actually been accurate so far with Lilia she had a point and then I had boys and then with Landon Cadence was straight across yeah. and then I had a boy so it's mm. it has zero relevance though like the hairline of your child has no relevance to your future <laughs> one but just for fun we did look at Landon's and La I'll insert a picture and Landon's does come to a point, which means that we are having a girl according to that one. The next theory is the nub theory. I talked about this in a few of my videos, but the theory behind this is that at like 12 th and 13 weeks, if you get an ultrasound, you can request a nub picture from a skilled ultrasound tech and they can give you a nub picture. And at that point in your pregnancy, every baby has a nub, boy or girl, no matter what sex it is, it's gonna have a nub. And depending on the angle of the dangle, they call it, <laughs> it can determine whether you're having a boy or a girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture for you guys of what this baby's nub looked like. That's kind of gross if you think yeah. about it. We're showing or like- I want like... you to look at my nub. <laughs> The theory is if the nub is even with or parallel with the spine, then you're having a girl and if it's, or it's technically if it's less than 30 degrees, so you can measure the angle and if it's less than 30 degrees, it says you're having a girl and if it's over 30 degrees, it says you're having a boy. So this one was undoubtedly a girl result. So we're definitely going to have another <laughs> point for the girls for this one. The cold feet gender. Well, I've had that since marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so the cold feet gender test tells you that if your feet are colder during pregnancy than they were pre-pregnancy then it is a boy and if they are not colder than they were if they're like stayed the same then supposedly you're having a girl. Basically, did you wear socks or did you not wear socks? <laughs> or what about summer winter? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's silly. The beginning of this pregnancy my feet were very 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 cold and I talked about that but since 20 weeks, you know, it's actually since I was taking iron pills and fixed the problem. <laughs> my feet have not been cold at all. So I don't really know what to do with we this just one. I guess the I'll gender by taking iron. Pills. I know we did see we just took the iron pills and then it was <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do the beginning of the pregnancy. So the very beginning of the pregnancy because that's when I did all of my other old wives tales like with yeah. my other kids I did the beginning in the beginning of my pregnancy. My feet were very cold. So that is another point for the boys team side boys Sorry. side. <laughs> the next one states that if you are carrying high, so like where you're carrying the baby in your stomach, it says if you're carrying the baby high that you're having a girl, and if you're carrying the baby low, then you're having a boy. So I went ahead and I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook for you guys to tell me what you think my belly looks like this time around, and the majority of people are saying that it looks low, which would give us another point for the boy's side. The next theory has to do with whether your hands have been dry or not. <laughs> That's a theory. Yeah. The theory states that if your hands have been drier this pregnancy than normal, then it's, you're having a boy. And if they have not been drier, they've just been like the same, then you're having a girl. So my hands have actually really been dry, but it is summer. So <laughs> technically that does give us a boy result. The next one has to do with the mother's like attitude. 
It says that if she's oh more moody this pregnancy, then she's having a girl. And if she is not as moody or just like the same as before, then you're having a boy. This is a definite girl. <laughs> I've been told by several people that I've been a B-I-T-C-H, so. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. The next one has to do with the mother's skin and if it's been like more acne prone or the same. This theory states that if you have worse skin during your pregnancy that the girls, if you're having a daughter, she'll steal your beauty and you're having a girl and if you have like better skin or your skin stays the same, suppose you're having a boy. So this pregnancy has been absolutely terrible on my skin. I think he hears that every single night. But I think that's been with all my pregnancies, to be honest. Like, all my pregnancies has, have given me the skin. So, technically, that gives us a girl result. <laughs> the next one set has to do with what side you sleep on at night. And they say that if you sleep on your left side more, then you're having a boy. And if you sleep on your right side more, then you're having a girl. So, this pregnancy, I've definitely been sleeping on my right side. And he gets mad at me because it's always the opposite direction of where he is. He's like, why don't you look at me? You don't love me. Yes, I do. <laughs> I actually switch around a lot. But the majority of the time I'd say sleep on my right side this pregnancy so that gives us another point for the girls the next one has to do with the mother's morning sickness or like overall sickness during the pregnancy if you are sick during your pregnancy then it means you're having a girl or this theory says that you're having a girl and if you're not sick during the pregnancy it means you're a boy and I just have to say the twins and Landon I was extremely sick and I had boys but <laughs> this one I have been extremely sick as well, so technically that gives us another point for the girl side. The next old wife's tale has to do with headaches. The, this you give me headaches <laughs> all the time. We must. So what, you're having a boy. Oh man. Congratulations. <laughs> Supposedly, if you have more headaches during this pregnancy, then you're having a boy. <laughs> and if you are not getting headaches, then you're having a girl. And this pregnancy, out of nowhere, I've had like extreme headaches. So that's definitely a point for the boy side. The next one is mother's intuition. And I'll do both of ours. So actually, there's going to be 24 points because I'll include yours too. So it has to do with what you, the mother thinks that she's having and what the father thinks. So if we're like in tune to our baby right now. We have yes. Can we meditate? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was dead set that it was a boy, and then it changed to girl, and I was really sure it was having a girl. And since then, I've kind of been flip-flopping, and I feel like overall, if I was to like, just like, I don't know, think about it and like feel what I was having, I'm gonna go ahead and say boy, only because of how many boys <laughs> we have. So I'm gonna give up myself a point for the boy side. What do you think? I'm gonna say girl. He definitely is. Yeah. 100% since I got pregnant, he's like, it's a girl. 100%. That kind of evens us out. So, one point <laughs> for the boy side, one point for the girl side. The next one has to do with the hair growth. <laughs> and supposedly, if your hair grows faster on your legs, then you're having a boy. And if it doesn't grow hardly at all, then you're having a girl. So, this pregnancy, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've shaved my legs. Is that gross? Yeah, that's pretty Sorry. gross. Dave, no, touch my legs right now. I, I haven't shaved. I can count on one skin. hand how many times I've shaved my legs. <laughs> <laughs> can you count at all? No. <laughs> Did you ever shave your legs? I haven't shaved my legs in honestly over a week. <laughs> and but feel them. That's why it's so warm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> feel them though. They're not. They don't really grow. So. I mean, technically, I don't know. I don't feel like my hair has been growing. <laughs> my hair on my armpits have been growing really fast. <laughs> the hair. Compare. The <laughs> ew. So technically, the growth on my legs, the hair growth on my legs, has not really changed. If anything's, if anything's, if anything, it has kind of. <laughs> if anything, it's kind of slowed down. So that gives us another point for the girl side. The next theory is the skull theory, and this is a newer one for me. I didn't really hear about this one much until more recently. But supposedly, the shape of the skull can determine whether your baby is a boy or a girl. So, they look at the shape of the fetal skull in an ultrasound, and supposedly, if the forehead and, like, the nose bone and stuff is more square, you're having a boy. And if it's more rounded, then you're having a girl. I actually have a comparison picture between this baby and all of the other babies, and I am terrible at doing this particular, like, reading this. I can't tell. Like, I just look at the baby and I'm like... It's a head. I don't know. I can't tell if it's square or not. But I've had several people tell me, like, of you guys who can do the school theory, tell me that I guess it looks like a girl's school. So I'm going to go ahead and take your guys' word for it and add a point to the girl side. The next one is, like, the most stereotypical 
like gender old wives tale out there it has to do with your cravings they say if you're if you're craving sweet or citrus things so like fruits and candy and stuff like that you're having a girl and if you're craving like salty or sour type stuff you're having a boy so overall this pregnancy i've definitely went more towards the salty stuff so that's yeah. def yeah that's gonna definitely be a point a point for the boy side next one has to do with the father's weight <laughs> So this one says that if the father has gained weight during your pregnancy, then you're having a girl, and that if he has stayed the same or like lost weight, then you're having a boy. So, <laughs> have you gained weight this pregnancy? Yeah, I'd say so. How much? Yeah. How much? You can tell us. Like, maybe like. 10 or 15 pounds. He's just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that gives us a point for the girl side. Okay, so the last one, I guess it's kind of like a two in one. So my scores are kind of like, I don't know. I think there's, I think we're at 25 points now. I'm not sure. We'll have to add them all together. Next one has to do with the shape of your belly. So supposedly if your belly is shaped more like a basketball and you're like, I don't know, carrying like a basketball that says you're having a boy. And if it's shaped more like a watermelon, then you're having a girl. I think I got that right. So I, again, asked you guys what you guys thought and it is overwhelmingly a basketball result, which means I am having a boy. And the last Old Wives Tales gender prediction thing says that, again, has to do with your belly and it says that if you are pointy, don't those contradict each other? Isn't a watermelon more pointy? Than a basketball? Yeah. Yeah. And like round, but supposedly if your if your belly is pointy, then you're having a boy. But if you're if you look like a watermelon, you're technically having a girl. So those two don't really make sense. But no. supposedly if your belly is more pointy, you're having a boy. <laughs> and if it's more round and like you're carrying everywhere, then you're having a girl. And so again, I'm carrying round. Yeah. So now I technically have a point for the girl side. Overall, that gives that gives us a score of. 16 points for the girl side and nine points for the boy side. But you know what? I just watched my one with Landon and his was the same. It was like 17 no. for a girl and like six for a boy or something. Like I said, this is just completely for fun. There is like no evidence to support any of these myths. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think <laughs> this baby is? Do you think that it's a girl or do you think it's a boy? And I want to know which of these theories were right for you. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Are you going to do another one? Me? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> He's slowly getting there. You're rocking it, babe. Look. You're natural. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next video. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Stupid, right? That's pretty dumb. Yeah. The shape of the school can, the school, the skull. <laughs> Why are you so confused about reading? Well, there's like so many different, oh my God, this makes sense. So if you, if you don't want to stick on your, <laughs> can I can you feel see it. it? <laughs> okay, at least it's not like bright pink or red or something. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. This, the, oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do at the beginning of the <laughs> Next one is your wedding ring. Wedding, I can't talk. The next one is your wedding, wedding, wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> that one was on the kitchen counter though. Oh. <laughs> you were there. What are you doing, child? He dropped his iPad in there. Oh. I need to go in down. Okay. I'm not doing that. I'll get you perfect again. Are we perfect again? We're oh, perfect again. In the bathroom. Do you eat off the bathroom counter? I want all It was on the counter. <laughs> I used, no, I put on a paper towel. On the counter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear 10 minutes without us. Yeah. <gasps> Good nice job! job. I <laughs> Hi guys! Oh, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting so big. Oh my gosh. It'll be 29 weeks tomorrow. 29, 29 weeks, weeks tomorrow. 29 weeks tomorrow. Alright, we got kicked out to the back now. Uh -huh. And we got the men up there so they can have